Okay, so we want to do 10.2, number 39, which is simplify this. There are some additional instructions, but they're more or less simplified. Okay, so what do I start with? Oh, first I start with reading the problem and making sure that root bar goes the whole way. It does. Then what? Some five numbers down, maybe? I don't know. Okay, so. The ones inside? Let me see. Do I know a thing that I cubed to get 81? Yeah. No. No. Okay, so maybe I start even a little bit dumber than that, right? Mm -hmm. There's like variables and numbers in here, right? Yeah. Do I know a thing that I cubed to get t cubed? Okay, so at the very least, if I could rip off the t cubed, I could deal with that part, right? So do I know a way to rip off the t cubed there? Put them outside? I've got this rule that I kind of use sometimes, right? This thing that says roots play nice with multiplication. Yeah. That's like this thing, right? Root of AB is root of a, root of b. Yeah. Okay, this one's written down for square roots, right? Yeah. But this works for cube roots too. So that's kind of what I want to exploit. So what are the two things I'm looking at being multiplied here? Cube root of negative 81 cube root of p cubed. You guys see that? Yeah. So I'd write, okay, this is 20, and then there's the cube root of, oh, the negative's weird too. Well, what the heck, let's deal with it. So we've got negative 81, and then there's the cube root of t cubed. And then on the other guy, there's a minus 7. You can do the same thing to separate the 24 and p cubed. OK, so let's make it cube root of 24 and cube root of t cubed. OK, so that was my multiple. The book calls it a multiplication rule or something. OK, so then what do I do? You could do oh, that's a good idea. OK, so I'm kind of looking at negative 81, right? And bringing them down into smaller. Yes, yeah. so I'm thinking that's negative 1 times 81, right? Yeah. 81 is 9 times 9. Three, 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 three. Yeah. Okay, so let me say. So if you put, can't you do like nine and nine and then switch them since the school of the, oh wait, it would be the cube root. Right? Yeah, the cube root's causing me problems, right? If it was nine, I'd be able to, yeah, be right. able to get off easy with. Cube root of 27, cube root of 60. So let's see, I've got a 20. Cube root of negative 27 and let's see, I took care of three of the threes and the negative sign, there was one left. So that leaves me with a cube root of three. What's the cube root of t cubed? T. Do I need to worry about a plus or minus on that? Or an absolute value maybe? When do I worry about that? Oh, even. Yeah, when the number's even, the power is even. I'm not taking an even power here, so I'm not worried about that. And then there's a, uh, all right, so there's minus 7. What's 24? 24 something cubed that I know about times some other stuff, maybe? 8. 8. Yeah, so 24 is 8 times 3, so I used my rule to break it up there. What was the cube root of t cubed? T. Okay, that was t. Uh, okay, so let's see. Do I know any of these pieces? Yeah, the 20 times, and then that's the negative 3. Okay. And then, and then the cube root of 3, so okay. Okay, oops, cube root of 3. And then there's a T. Yeah. Okay, good. And the other one? Seven uh, times two. Yeah, two. Seven yeah. times 
two times get rid of three times T. T. Okay. Uh, let's see. So I can do some of that, right? That's negative 60 cube roots of 3 T minus 14 cube root of 3 T. Okay. And you can just, like, can we just move the T to the other side by the 60? It would be the same thing, right? Because it's not inside the cube root. Oh, yeah, sure. Like, just put it, I don't know, it just Yeah, it so this is one object, this cube root of T, right? Yeah. Or, sorry, cube, cube root of, of 3 point. is one object. Right. I can move the T around for multiplication. I don't really care. Yeah. So um, you can add them together, though, and so negative 60 and negative 14 is negative, negative 74. You guys see that? What are they? Is there another way to see what they're doing there? Yeah, yeah, really, they're combining like terms. The like terms in this case being the root three t's, or the third root, of, the cube root of three t's. That gets hard to see, right? But at the very least, there's a t in both things and a root three. Or, sorry, a cube root of three involved thing? The identical split three lines is like. <laughs> yeah. Apples. Really, I'm kind of looking for this symbol, yeah, right? The and I'm saying these are this kind of apples in this problem. Another way to see that is to factor it out, right? If I factor that out of both terms, I've got a cube root of three t times negative 60 minus 14. Oh, and now I can see that clearly I should add the negative 60 and the negative 14. Get negative 74. So I get negative 74 cube root of 3 t's. And that's what I'm going to call the answer. And I usually put my answers in kind of honest, like, whole number, right? Integer parts, and then ruddy parts, and then variable parts. But you guys can arrange them however you want. Uh, if you do do, if you do choose some other arrangement, I would make clear which things you're multiplying. Cool.